Hi, my name is Kat Kerr, and today we're making this mailbox ornament using Durabrite plastic film. Durabrite plastic film can be used with a wide range of mediums and techniques, including watercolor and alcohol inks. It's strong, smooth, waterproof, wipeable, heat resistant, and fun to use. Now why am I using it for my ornaments today? Mainly because it's really super strong, durable, and it's also bendable. Today I'm using Marabou's Art Spray to add color to the Durabrite plastic film. Now one of the reasons why I like using the Durabrite is because it's a plastic film and so the color is not going to soak into the plastic, which allows me to manipulate it until it dries. And so here I can manipulate it with a brush or I can take some rubbing alcohol and add splatters to it and that will create a texture. Or in this case, I'm also using another piece of Durabrite, placing it directly over the first one and just kind of sliding it across the page, um, which creates a texture and dimension. And so I'm left with two pages that are full of color and texture. And once the art spray has dried, I flip the plastic over and cut out some pieces for the mailbox. The first one that I'm cutting is a one and a half by three, and the second one is a three by five. On the three by five, I'm going to just fold the edges over half an inch on each side. The last piece looks like an, a letter I, and um, I, I did that because I actually trim it uh, when it's assembled. And so don't worry about remembering the dimensions. I've included a template below. Next, I'm using a bone folder to fold over the dotted lines and it just makes assembly a lot easier. If you don't have a bone folder, you can also use a popsicle stick. Next, I cut half-inch strips of double-tack dry adhesive sheet and applied it to the ends of the 3x5 piece. Next, I'm going to remove the protective layer exposing the adhesive strip and I'm going to apply it to the rectangle piece to the back side of the rectangle base. And I'm going to eventually adhere both sides, but for now I'm just doing one side because it's a lot easier to add holes now uh, than later. And so I just um, attached one side. Now I'm punching the holes for the string as well as the flag. And then I'm going to add some rub-on letters to the side. And it's a lot easier to do this on a flat surface. Now that I have my letters and my holes, I can remove that top layer of the adhesive and attach the other side to the base. Next, I take that letter I and I trim one side, enough for me to be able to fold it and push it through the mailbox. And then I take a strip of that double tack dry adhesive and I place it onto the side of the eye that has the color because that's going to be glued down to the inside of the mailbox. Once I expose the adhesive, I feed it through the mailbox and press it down into place. Next, I'll take a pencil and trace the opening onto the back side of the Durabrite. And before I trim it out, I actually create three little tabs. I'll add some double tack dry adhesive to those little tabs in order to keep that back side in place. Next, I traced the other side and trimmed it with a pair of scissors. 
I didn't need any notches because this side was going to stay open. And I also placed another piece of the Durabrite on the inside so I wouldn't see the white. Next I cut out a flag using heavy duty cardstock. I punched a hole and attached it to the mailbox using a brad. Now at this point I felt like something was missing so I took some sparkly washi tape and I applied it to the opening of the mailbox. And then I fed through some string um, to hang the ornament and this mailbox is done. Now you can place anything you want inside this mailbox. I decided to make some little letters for Santa, so I took some holiday cardstock, cut it down to 3x3 three three inches, and then just folded it down to make a small little envelope for Santa's letters. And I just adhered it using some double tack dry adhesive, added Santa's name to the front, and these were ready to go in the mailbox. For more ideas using Durabrite, visit graphicsarts.com. And for more videos using graphics products, visit me at catcur.com and hit that YouTube playlist button. Thanks for watching.